and she wants to casual flirt and get married. Oh, I thought that I would leave her single, but maybe not. Maybe she will have a second husband. Hi, it's Charity, and welcome back to Westfall Stories. A series in The Sims 4 based on a challenge I created called the Ghost Town Challenge. The rules will be linked in the description below as well as a playlist for all of the series. Now Eve Westfall has finished all of her tasks except for making friends with all of her ancestors. And that's a little bit difficult right now because she's supposed to stay in Solani since she's a mermaid. And right now I think we have our next heir who is going to be Jackson. But the only thing is, I don't know what I was doing the last time I played this series, but Jackson is about to age up in two days and his skills are not anywhere near where he needs them to be. So I think we need to focus on that and we'll put Eve in the background and let her work on whatever she needs to work on, taking care of the kids, keeping them fed. We don't really need any money, uh, maybe to pay the bills. But that should be about it. Well, Alexis wants to ask us out on a date. I don't remember Alexis. Um, maybe we'll say okay since we can actually bring everyone. Okay, I don't know how we know Alexis Irwin, but apparently we know him. But we don't have any romance. Why did you ask me out on a date randomly? I guess we'll flirt a little bit. It seems like some of my celebrity ancestors are here. I'm not sure why. They are celebrities in the game, but they're ghosts. I thought they only would come out at nightclubs. Now, Yukita is here. He's actually our father, but for some reason we're only acquaintances. Yeah, I guess he really didn't like that date. We didn't pay very much attention to him. We were trying to be friends with our dad and then also get a little bit of fame. And so we just went back home. Oh, look who it is. It's Josie. Yeah, technically we have to make up with Josie. She has a little bit of a grudge against Eve because Josie was responsible for the death of Eve's adoptive parents and yeah so we need to kind of try and make up with her actually though because technically she's family actually Josie is our sister so she's not only family but she I thought she was maybe a cousin but no she's our sister oh no Josie and Eve are difficult why are you being mean I just told you to apologize well, we're going to go to the little bar slash nightclub area and try to get some more fame. Okay, sorry to bother you, but I heard what a great person you are. Would you be interested in making a generous donation to a charity? It says I can, but I don't have a thousand simoleons. I only have 892. Let's see what happens. It looked like it worked, but it didn't take any of my money. Well, at least we finally did get to introduce ourselves to Carissa. Oh, Kuro is an elderly cat now, so we have another elder. All right, it's almost Jackson's birthday, and he needs to go to sleep. I thought maybe I could get Eve famous by dancing, because that's a fame action that doesn't generate any money. But it seems like this fire dance doesn't actually gain any fame, because no one really comes over to watch. Oh no, we're actually having a volcanic bomb at the bar. For some reason, the game is bugged. Every time I go to talk to one of the global superstars, it actually acts like I'm in a conversation with someone else. But this is getting me more fame because my friendship with the global superstar is not increasing and I could just keep using the fame interactions over and over again. Normally, there's a cap with how much fame you can get by talking to celebrities. Okay, we have another elderly cat. Belle has aged up. Oh, we met a celebrity who's actually alive, Luca Montero. Let's see if we can get to know him. 
Okay, we need to take a break and actually care for the babies. They're getting kind of stinky and a little bit hungry. So I've decided to stay at this little bar area until we can try and get our celebrity level up a little bit. We are almost to a two-star celebrity. And we did meet a couple more of the ancestors here. Oh, look who it is. It's Durunk. I don't know why ghosts randomly show up at nightclubs, but they do, even during the day. Oh, never mind. It's 7.30 p.m., so technically it is time for the ghosts to show up. Now, for some reason, the little interactions that they allow between Sims to ask them to do something, you can ask him to expand the family, but he's in a household by himself because he's a ghost and he's well he used to be our husband so I don't know what this will do but we can ask him it's not going to make us pregnant surely not he's probably gonna say I'm not at a point to do that right now no he doesn't want to have a baby I wonder if you could have science babies with ghosts probably not no Okay, so Eve likes high energy sums. Yes, she does, because she's also high energy. Now, Eve wants to fight a ghost. The only ghost here that we can really fight is Durump, because unfortunately, the rest of the ghosts are ancestors, and we can't have a bad relationship with them. Durump doesn't really count, because he was our husband, and not necessarily a sim that we have to befriend. Hopefully we don't ruin it too much. Oh, he's only a little hurt. That's not too bad. We did get rid of our fear, though, which was just ridiculous. Every time a ghost would come around, she would run away screaming, and that was just annoying. We'll say sorry. We were just trying to get rid of our fear. Okay, it looks like we're finally friends with Carissa. All right, Eve is now a two-star celebrity. That took a long time. All right, let's go back home. I think this lot is a little bit too busy to finish up Jackson's skills, and we only have less than a day. Well, it's the infant's birthdays. We're going to age up Jackson first, and we're going to say, Happy birthday, Jackson. You are now independent. And happy birthday, Randolph. You are also now independent. All we need is another 18% in movement. I guess playing with an adult would be faster than just running around on your own. And he's energized, so hopefully he will get it pretty soon. I really don't find anything that works quite as well as the slide. Even playing with an adult, movement doesn't go up very fast. Alright, that's better. It's because he was very sad, and then it changed to energize, and now that's much better. Okay, we have all the skills maxed now. He can age up. Of course, we do not have a cake. So, what we're going to do is just allow him to age up on his own, and kind of forget his birthday. I know that's a little bit harsh, but Jackson is the one that's going to grow up and hate children. So I do have to have one Sim that has that trait that hates children. And so the story is going to be that he grew up in a household with a lot of other kids and he had some younger siblings and he just did not like his siblings. So he ends up not liking children. Oh, and Skylar aged up. We'll just go ahead and make Skylar a kleptomaniac and she can have the whiz kid aspiration. Um, Oh, okay, it's Wallace. I was about to say, who's dying? Unfortunately, we're losing one of the elders. Wallace is passing away. Oh no, we're losing a lot of the cats now. Now Kipper's dying. Well, we do have a lot of elders from last week, so I think that's why we're getting a lot of deaths this week. Oh, Jackson aged up. Now, I originally wanted to do the creativity aspiration because I was choosing between all of the other ones one at a time. So we had already done mental and Eve had done social. And I think the choices were left between creativity and motor, but these did not exist at that time. That's how old this is. So I 
think we're going to pick slumber party animal because we have not done any of these in this let's play and I don't think creativity was the best choice. It could have been an okay choice, but I think slumber party animal is a better choice. And then Jackson is going to be a child of the ocean, so he will not be able to go fishing. All right, so we have two new children up here, and we do have two beds, but they're the single beds where the monsters come out. And then we have two toddlers. So we could just have the two children sleep in the tent because we have enough beds as it is. But I don't know. Maybe I'll get rid of the infant cribs and put the single beds back out. But that just means we're going to have problems with the monster again. Oh, it's another volcanic bomb. I don't think there are any fires, though. That's good. Okay, now we're losing Cringer. I think there are three more that are about to die because they're a litter, basically. Yeah, we have Cringer, Precious, and Diamond. Oh, and Honey, Bow. So we have about five. That's maybe two litters. Maybe we should try to make friends with Josie. Maybe Josie will be a better friend to us than Eve will be. Hey Eve, it's me and Nelly. Do you want to go out on a date? Um, I don't remember what we were doing with him either. All of these people asking Eve out on a date, and I don't think she had any romantic interactions with them at all. She doesn't even know him. I guess he's a blind date? Okay, some of the cats are starting to die again. This is a great date. Oh, Eve is getting an early midlife crisis? Okay, this will be interesting. Okay, we're losing another cat. Which one is it? Diamond? No. Yes, diamond. Okay. Well, sometimes the cats are just elders and they go one right after the other because it's a litter of two or three and that's sad. Alright, let's get out of here before any of the other cats go. And there goes Honey. And Bo. Okay, I think that's it for this week. Alright, I kept seeing the foxes actually jump over the fence and attack my chickens. So a fence is not always a safe place to keep a chicken. So I put walls, basically. I made a chicken house within a house. And I know I'm not supposed to build after setting up the lot, but it's glitched. Those fences do not keep out foxes. They won't go through the gate. They get right next to the fence over here. And a chicken will be right next to the fence. And they can ignore the fence if there's something directly on the other side of it that they can interact with. And then they'll get stuck inside the chicken enclosure. And I'm just tired of it. So I built a wall. There's no way that they can get to the chickens now. Oh, Eve is going through a midlife crisis. Oh, she wants to become closer with a family member. And she wants to casual flirt and get married. Oh, I thought that I would leave her single, but maybe not. Maybe she will have a second husband. She has a desire for relationships that actually fits so well with this storyline. I'm shocked because Eve is family oriented and her husband kept dying. And now he's permanently separated from her in the afterlife. So she wants to have a relationship and socialize with family and flirt and become closer with a family member because good become good friends or BFF with a family member. Okay. Now I was thinking closer means just improve the relationship a little bit. I was going to target Josie, but there's no way we're becoming good friends with Josie. Or maybe that actually is a requirement. Okay, according to the rules, 
Eve has to be acquaintances with all of the ghosts in Newcrest and all of her generational family. However, if they're less than four levels of separation, less than four generations, in other words, the ones that are alive are definitely included, they need to be friends or better. However, since she's family oriented, she needs to be good friends with all of her immediate family. So yes, Josie must be a good friend. And that's what this can be. Become closer with a family member. She's got to be good friends with Josie. Now there are other family members that she may not be good friends with yet. And so that might be completed sooner that rather than later. So this is Eve's generation. And we have Denise, Brent, Alexander, Marley, McKenna, Haley, Skyler, Jackson, Randolph, Jackson, Jackson, and Jackson. Ugh. Okay, well, that wasn't too insightful on my part, but I just take random names. Cleo and Ashley. Those are all of Eve's children. And then we have Eve's siblings, Josie, Sam, Hector, Ellie, Riley, and Dulce. Now, she does have two half-brothers, Zayden and Christopher. And then we have her parents who are in Newcrest. And everyone above her parents are basically ghosts in Newcrest. So anyone who is less than four generations, so it's one, two, three, four, anyone Carissa or newer needs to be friends and anybody who's on the immediate family member line. So that would be her sisters, brothers, half siblings, mother, father, and children. They all need to be good friends. Oh, look who it is. It's Josie. Are you going to accept my apologies, Josie? Maybe a little bit. Well, in the midst of a midlife crisis, Eve has decided media production is her thing and wants to do it more often. Uh, the only problem with that is that Eve is a technophobe and media production involves technology. I could, I guess, forgive that and allow her to use technology, but she also is not allowed to buy anything from Build Buy. We would have to buy something from a store or find it in the dumpster? Well, maybe we're getting a little bit closer to being friends with Josie. Or maybe not. Okay, we've repaired our relationship with Josie to the point where we're just slightly disliked. I think that's good progress. So here we are at the siblings house and Josie lives here and a few of the other siblings of Eve. And we're trying to get some media production done because I know that Eve is not supposed to buy anything from Build Buy. So what I did is I went ahead and added some media production stuff to this house and Eve is just going to borrow it for a little while because I want her to make some parenting videos and upload them on the Sims version of YouTube. Because that's still earning money through parenting, but it only goes against her beliefs because she's a technophobe. But since she's having a midlife crisis and she wants to do media production, I think it's okay for right now. So we'll just teach Jackson some manners and maybe that'll count as a parenting video. I don't know if it will pick up on that or not. Okay, why is it coming up as a home style cooking video? Eve didn't do any cooking at all. It's a parenting video. Well, that didn't really work. Oh, Brent aged up. So, Brent is a teenager. He will have to be moving out. We'll just have him love the outdoors. And maybe he can be a freelance botanist. All right, maybe we should just have a slumber party for Jackson. 
Oh, and Denise aged up. And she was the last one with the friendship bracelet. She's going to be self-absorbed. And we're going to make her a computer whiz. So we're just going to tell our stories from the sleeping bag only to Denise. And hopefully we'll make friends by the end of this party. Or good friends. Because we have to be good friends in order to exchange a friendship bracelet. Maybe I should just make one of the other kids make a bracelet. Because for some reason he's not getting along too well with Denise. Okay, finally they're good friends. Although Skylar made the bracelet and Skylar is his twin. So maybe he'll exchange the bracelet with Skylar. There you go, Skylar. We're now best buds. And now we just need Achieve Gold on a Slumber Party event. Time for bed. And there's Gold. Who did you flirt with? Okay, she's flirty. Oh no, it's from Contemplating Life. Okay. I was about to say, I hope she didn't flirt with one of her ancestors. Well, this midlife crisis is actually helping me out a lot because Eve is having a really easy time making friends with her family. And so since she needs to be good friends with a bunch of people, this should be the best thing ever. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.